Until the 1950s, this was how you got water into your home. What is it? It's a lead pipe. It's durable, malleable, and perfect for carrying water. Well, except for one thing. It's also very poisonous, and getting rid of it is a bit complicated. So let's get into that. Lead used to be everywhere. We used it to make better paint, better fuels, useful alloys, conduct science experiments, use them as weapons for mob bosses, and much, much more. But then we realized something. Lead isn't all that great. When consumed, it's highly toxic, especially for pregnant or breastfeeding women and children under the age of six. But the worst part was that using it in the fuel for our cars meant that the lead was getting into the atmosphere, which meant that this harmful substance was literally everywhere. But thanks to a lot of good work from scientists and the industry, we've more or less gotten rid of lead in our lives. In fact, lead levels in the air have dropped 97% in Canada since 1970. Now, not to discount all the successes that happened, but getting lead out of paints and fuels is relatively easy. Just don't put any more into it. But getting lead out of our water pipes is a bit more difficult because removing them now means digging up years and years of infrastructure. In Halifax and Dartmouth, it's estimated that between 10 to 15,000 homes still have a lead pipe connection, and every single one will require digging up roads, sidewalks, and lawns when replacing them. Yeah, it's a lot of work. To further complicate matters, the responsibility of replacing lead service lines is shared between private homeowners and Halifax Water. You see, water service lines in Halifax work like this. There are pipes that take water from the utility to your property line. That's owned by Halifax Water. But from your property line to your home or business, well, those pipes belong to you. Now, Halifax Water could just replace their portion of the pipe, but that wouldn't be solving the whole problem. And there's evidence that doing this might even make that situation worse. And that's why Halifax Water is only replacing their end of the pipes when the homeowner chooses to replace their own. Like I said, it's a complicated issue. And if you'd like to help, well, first consider sharing this video. Because many of the pipes are so old, the existing data on which houses have lead pipes is incomplete. Halifax Water is kind of relying on the public to be aware of the problem and to report and replace lead pipes themselves if they have them. And how can Halifax Water help? Well, let me tell you. As of August 22nd, 2017, Halifax Water has a new program that will financially assist any of their customers who are replacing a private lead pipe. They'll kick in 25% of the cost up to $2,500. Yeah. But next, let's find out if your pipes are made out of lead. You're most likely to have a lead pipe if your home was built before 1960 and is located on the peninsula or Dartmouth inside the circumferential highway because that's where the oldest buildings are located. Next, let's find your service line. The easiest way to do this is to first find your water meter. It's always inside your house, usually in the basement or lower level, and it will have a water line on both ends. All right, so we found your water meter and service line. Now, for the vast majority of homes, these pipes will most likely be made out of copper or lead. But in some rare cases, they could be made out of steel or plastic. So let's narrow down the options. First, try tapping it. Is it plastic or metal? Metal? All right, we'll rule out plastic. Then try scratching it with a coin or key. If it's copper in color, well, it's a copper pipe. If it's gray, try placing a magnet next to it. If the magnet sticks, you've got a steel pipe. If it doesn't stick, well, you most likely have a lead pipe. If you want to be extra sure, call up Halifax Water and they can send an expert to check. Now, if you found lead pipes, we strongly encourage you to take advantage of Halifax Water's new funding program and get the lead out. Okay, we get the idea. If you want to do that, check out our next couple videos in the series. 